So this is a GeoGebra applet that I like to use to visualize the curl a little bit. We're talking about that rotational component to our field. In this case, uh, our field is effectively coming straight at us out of the screen. And that would indicate then that as I go in various places, there's really no rotation to that particular field at, at all. Um, and so it, the curl is zero everywhere in this particular field. We also have a curve here that represents the work done around a closed curve within the field. And you can see also that as I move this particular point around, that the work doesn't change at all. It's zero everywhere. So that would indicate to us that this is a conservative vector field. We've had this connection where we've looked at the curl being equal to zero to show that the work around a closed curve is zero or effectively that the um, vector field then would be conservative. We can change um, the field around a little bit. So here's a different kind of field. And here you can see that we now have a curl that is constant at two. So no matter where I am, it has the same rotational component to it um, everywhere, every point in the field. And we can also observe that that non-zero curl then would indicate to us that um, the work should be non zero as well. In other words, this is not a conservative vector field. We can observe that the work is the same no matter where that ellipse sits within this particular field though. Just taking a look at another field. Here you can see a place again, the curl is constant at two everywhere. In this case, the work done around that same ellipse by the field is the same everywhere as well. And then we can look at something like this as well. So this is one of these cases where um, we've kind of talked about the idea that having a non-zero curl should imply that the vector field is conservative, but here we see that the work is zero done around a closed curve. But of course, that's just at a single point. If I were to move this around, we can notice that, yep, it does turn out to be the case that it is non-zero and therefore that field is not conservative. Um, I like this particular uh, applet because uh, whoever made it set it up so that the magnitude of the curl would change the speed and direction of rotation to give us a sense for how that field is behaving, which just makes it kind of fun to work through. And you can see how that field changes as we move around. So that's just basically what this applet is, is designed to do here initially. Um, just again to try and get us to see these connections um, between these two things. And again, you can see that that curl is going to change and vary a little bit depending on what kind of field um, we have.